Welcome to Seventh-day Adventists today. We each have a work to do, the work of proclaiming to the world the last message of warning, Revelation 14, 6-12. In clear, distinct tones, we must give this message. Ella White quotes Paul, For our gospel came not to you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance. This is how we are to proclaim the three angels' messages. This is how we present the three angels' messages today. In fact, we often don't even mention the second or third messages. Again, Ellen White writes, But I greatly fear that though we have had much great light, we are not as earnest as we should be. Paul goes on to say, For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to Godward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. Helen goes on to write, Just such an experience as this is what we need today. We need the Holy Spirit and assurance. Living power must attend the message of Christ's second coming in the clouds of heaven. The work to be done today is just as real and the truth is just as much truth. Only we are to give the message with as much more earnestness as the coming of the Lord is nearer. The message for this time is positive, simple and of the deepest importance. We must act like men and women who believe. The world is not without warning. God had raised up self-supporting SDA ministries to do the work which we refuse to do. 3ABN, ADTV, AFTV, WRW, just to name a few. We are not half awake to the perils and dangers that we must be prepared to meet. Waiting, watching, working, praying, warning the world. This is our work, says Ellen White. She goes on to say, I long for Jesus to come. There is so much work to be done. I can help if the Lord is with me. If Jesus is not with me, I can do nothing. Oh, she writes, I long for that home in the kingdom of glory, where there will be no sickness or sorrow, no pain, no death. But it is ours to be faithful day by day in this life. God bless you, friend.